Hello, Rain Man. And I just leveled up. Fantastic. Buttercup, and is that? Are both stronger. Dappling is much healthier, and uh, Ambal is much more dexterous. And back in the Vakis, Fitz Omega is stronger, Airedale is much stronger, Moogly Moo is more intelligent, and Garoon is healthier. So I keep missing my levels. I well. should be reading them out, really. Right, well, there's skeletons here, and it's a level two group. There's three skeletons. <sighs> sure. It's better if I attack them than they attack me, in my opinion. Yeah. It's not actually, unless you've got other options, but I don't, so I'm just going to throw myself at them. And pray on good luck. There we go. Let's see how this goes down. How much health have they got? Uh, that's not too bad. We should be able to deal with that. Uh, I could confuse that one as well if I want to. Okay, as soon as you're done with that fight, we'll trade with you. Okay. It's got 12 damage, though. That's the part that I'm worried about. 12 damage is, is a lot of damage. That is, yeah. An awful, awful, awful lot of damage. Okay. Well, I've ensured that the first skeleton is going to die on the first turn. The second one... Right, I'm going to play Trixie here. Now, what I could do is confuse the first skeleton okay uh, sorry the, uh, the skeleton and then they would play their tactics card they'd either buff something or debuff me but whatever they do they would use their tactics card now the two skeletons are both level two and this is a group that doesn't really have a boss so it's quite likely that the third skeleton is of the same level mm -hmm. i do have a counter tactic option with my crafter who will be able to take that card and just discard it immediately and i also have another tactics card who has a confuse of the right level to confuse one of the two skeletons that has been played that's good now it is super important the way i play these i want to get rid of the tactics card first then confuse if i did it the other way around i'd be wasting the opportunity it is really important the order you mm. play your cards in i've been noticing that but i'm still not quite good enough to work out what order is right sometimes that's fine. <laughs> now, the, that's turned a potential um, situation, because they all do, like, 16 damage or 12 damage. It would have hurt. Well, the one I took out of the deck did 22 damage. That would have taken one of my people out straight away. No questions asked. They would have been put down. But instead, I managed to do that without any damage whatsoever. And I got a two-handed... Wow! A thorny warhammer. Seven damage. It's blunt damage, and it gives two poison as well. Very nice. Two EXP to research. That was actually a pretty good fight. I don't want to just sit there and, and risk more of that at the moment. I want to... Uh... No, get away from that. Yeah. Uh, I will gather all of these things. There we go. I'll get... Well, actually, no. I'll, I'll swap them around. There we go. We'll get plenty of straw and some nuts as well. Uh, I think the dudes dudes, yeah, they, they've got 39 turns worth of food, 12 turns worth of, of um, fuel. Oh, that'd be good for a while then. Yeah. Now, the nice thing here is that Dappling does 26 damage. That's partially because they have a two-handed axe. Now, axes just do damage. That's their thing does 13 damage but if i give them the two-handed warhammer i'm gonna lose six of their overall damage potentially but i'm gonna gain the blunt effect so i'm gonna be able to apply their now um 20 damage across two opponents so if i was fighting bees or something it would be great i'd kill two bees in one go Ooh. plus the warhammer has poison so it actually does um nine damage not seven potentially it does 11 damage, not 7. So, you know, it's actually a, quite a good uh, upgrade there. Mm. I don't really have Poison to. could be nasty. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. That was, that was a really, really good roll. Cool. And there's a new ruin pretty close. In fact, there's two new ruins really close to us. Yeah, I'm ready to the trade with you if you're finishing well. up with yep. your thing. That's fine. Um, is there anything that you would like? Some food or something? Uh, the vines would be good. 
Okay. So I don't get those vines. Uh, I've got jerky and bread if you'd like it. Yes, like, please. Which, yeah, I'm, to I'm increase my to... my meals, and I can give you a little bit of this. Um... Uh, swap that. You have, in fact, actually, you can have all the bread because I make it here. Have some of that as well. Yeah. Apparently, I've got a. Can I not increase this? I cannot. It appears. Change my trade offer. Oh, clear. That's what I can do. There we are. And there we go. Do you want some wood as and... well? Or are you good for it? No, I'm fine for wood. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's fine. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Anything else? I don't, I don't think there's anything else I'm producing, unfortunately. Well, there we go then. Thank you very much indeed. Perfect. And I will go on to the leather tile any movement I've got left, which I don't. So I'll camp out in your city for a turn. Um, well, now I can make things out of vine. I can make vine cardigans, which are actually fairly They're pretty good. They get four armour, which is not bad for a, like a gallery. Vine can make it all out of vine. Oh, is it? It's well worth it. That produces nine research points as well. Yeah, I'll make two of those. Excellent. Now, let's just make sure that I've got plenty of food in there, I guess. Yeah, I've got those. And fish. Unfortunately, if it's Omega, I can't make anything other than jerky right now. Oh, actually, no, I might be able to, thanks to the mushrooms. I'll double check that, though. Uh, let's see. I've just got a research point. Hooray! Also, I've made that new piece of equipment. Double hooray! That one's going to be kept for the uh, Ahoy Mole. Uh, the Ahoy Mole. <laughs> I love him. He's yeah. so cute. All right, I am actually going to unlock Quartz, and I'm going to hope that there's some nearby. Unlock. Clink. Where's the Quartz? Uh, it's not that far away. Ah, oh, it's annoyingly up by the, uh, the slavers that I'm going to have to go and deal with at some point. That's a pain. But I need that, that Quartz, so it's going to have to happen. But someone raised the very good point about the jerky, because jerky weighs quite uh, quite a lot. Actually. Oh, does it? Yeah, jerky weighs two. Each uh, piece of jerky weighs two, and you only get eight out of it. But what I can do... I've got a lot of different things I can use meat for. Like, I can make rabbit stew. Or... Actually, I can make mushroom soup. Or I can make meat stew. <laughs> find the right tile Mixed to get to. takes very little. Rabbit stew is better because it takes less work to make, so I'm going to be making that, I think. That leather's right next to a spider nest. That's rather unfortunate. Okay. Excellent. And yeah, it is. But it's only a level one spiders from there, so you should be okay. You've got five people there. Yeah, exactly. It should be There's right. also a level one um, hungry unliving as well, but it's just two broken skeletons and an unliving corpse. Honestly, it's a good EXP farm. In my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm just so I'll just sit there next. and get leather for a bit, and then I can make some good armor for us. A goblin boss and three goblin shamans. Ugh, I don't want to play with them. Why are they there? I disapprove. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hope. I'm gonna hope that they don't don't mess with me. I've, they're going to be less aggressive until night. Yeah. Uh, on once it goes to dusk, I'm gonna decamp and move away. I think. Hello, Black Sun. I'm Sea Champ. Hello, Black Sun and Sea Jam. And this is co-op. Yeah. 
<laughs> you spotted the same thing. Yeah. Hello, Hacks Gamer RC. Okay. Starting to gather more straw, more grain. The goblins have not moved. Dislike those leather. Well. Really disliking them. I'm going to head up there together. Of course, I need five quarts. That's all I bloody need. <laughs> Have you got any items back at your base which produce quartz? I'll take a look and see. I don't think so, though. Harvest. It's impossible for us to attack each other if we move on to the same tile instead of pro. Like, um, with an enemy, if you try to move into their tile, it causes a fight. But in this, you simply move on to the same tile and you can trade. No, That's I have no quartz. Okay. Thank you for checking, though. That's okay. End my turn. Oh, I've got an event here. In the midst of your day's work, a vision appears in all of your minds at once. You see a calm lake, as if untouched by any darkness. In the middle of the lake, there stands a lone figure, beckoning you to join her. And I only have the option to go to her. Oh dear. Oh, wow. You soon know you are standing in the presence of Mother Earth, Mokosh herself. Oh, wow. She smiles at you, a motherly warm smile that feels so safe and calm. Then she opens the palm of her hand, and you see the ruins of some grand building. You know instantly where it is, and you know it's important that you go there. Better check it out at some point. What building are we going to get? A divine quest. Yep, that is the beginning of Mokosh's uh, divine duty quest. Ooh. That's very exciting. Right. As it is now turned to dusk, I am moving. I am not staying here when there is a goblin boss nearby. Oh, balls. Yeah, do you think I'll be okay staying where I am? There's a few nests around, but I should be able to cope, I think. You should be fine, because they're yeah. low level. Your scouts report something of interest nearby, and mark it on your map. Ooh. Investigate. They have spotted an abandoned settlement made out of several thatched cottages. You could salvage much straw, and may even, uh, maybe even some stone from the houses. Oh, straw would be though. handy. The scouts also report a nest of giant spiders is taking an up residence. Draw is very useful. Might be worth checking this out. Uh, place to see. Oh, right. Wow. Yes. I would say there's a lot of giant spiders down there. It's by two spiders' nests. <laughs> Bit of a no-brainer, that one. Um, well, I do kind of need to head up in that direction, see if I can't find the quartz. At least spiders aren't too bad. Yeah. And... The dudes' dudes have quite a lot of food with them. I do need to gather a little bit more wood, though. Probably two turns worth of wood, maybe. Uh, no. No, just one turn worth of wood, it'll be fine. I'll give you an extra seven turns worth. Okay. Best of luck. Oh, quite uneventful for you. Yeah, nothing happened there at all. So I'll just turn the okay. turn over again, I think, then. Yeah, sure. I'm going to uh, be making a way up past your village. Uh, there's now a small rat layer. There are more and more layers popping up near your base, and they're mm. all level twos. I'm going to have to deal that with them at rough. some point. Yeah. Yeah, it would be better to deal with them rather than the things they spawn. But my problem is, at the moment, that I've got two warriors out of action. Yeah, well, I've got the same. Yeah. Two of my warriors are down. Well, actually, one of my warriors and one of my gatherers, but... Same deal, really. I'm just going to pass um, three turns where I am, just doing a bit of gathering, gathering up enough... Okay, I will uh, do exactly the same, then. It's easier to pass the night like this, honestly. Ooh, yeah, got I've got an encounter... Um, mm -hmm. But it's like a 
Not so bad one, I think. I see fresh wolf tracks. It looks like a large pack is somewhere ahead. I can follow the tracks. Or I can say wolves are dangerous and leave them be. I'm going to follow the tracks. Okay. Oh. Uh, that doesn't sound good. I shouldn't have followed the tracks. Who said blue stuff was good? <sighs> I have a also, three skull battle. You've got five adventurers. Two of which are gatherers. It. Yeah, but it's, it's fine. It means that they're going to be good in the tactical deck. I have two alpha wolves, three starving wolves, and three normal wolves. So, so you've got eight opponents. The starving wolves will probably be immediately killed, like the first hit they get, yeah. they'll die. The alpha wolves, though, they're going to be pretty powerful. If you're lucky, they'll end up in the tactics deck. It'll mean they'll be able to offer some amazing buffs. The alpha wolf is coming straight out onto the offensive damage. deck. Okay. I'm going to play Clazzy straight out. He'll straight away do damage to it. It's okay, Mainzer. I took barely any damage. Good luck. I was supposed to do eight pierce damage, right? And it, the wolf only took three damage. Is there, there are certain... You, you'll do half of your piercing damage when you play the card. Ah, right, okay. Rounded down, I think. So four points. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So as a tactical thing, can you get full damage or? No, no, you'll just do half damage. Just down. do half damage. That's fair enough. Okay. <sighs> wow. I've got all my nice gatherers in my offensive deck. I had a terrible mm. hand as well. That doesn't sound like a very good... Uh... I can see my my entire people just getting killed just because I decided to follow the tracks. I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, this isn't a group that's attacking you. This is an event. Oh, right. So once the event is over, that wolf encounter no longer exists. I see. Map. If this was a group that was fighting you, then yeah, I would say you're in it for a rough ride. But once this fight is over then, yeah, you might lose one or two to death. That's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. But the others will probably heal through it. Okay. That's a shame. can confuse the wolf next to Nia and hope that she doesn't get killed, maybe. Up to you. I'm quickly going to go and top up my drink. I shall be okay. right back. This is basically terrible times. I'm actually going to send one of my guys out onto the deck to fight. And then we'll see how it goes. So the opponent still has three cards to play. It's confused one of my guys. And it's put a couple onto the board. They all seem to have the first turn for everything. Okay, Clazzy is dead. Nia is dead. Renard is still out there. One of their walls is down. Go, Renard! And I have two. I have two cards left. Um, I'm actually going to send that card out onto the battlefield. I don't feel I have much of a choice there. I 
They've got so many more cards than me. It's insane. This is going to be it now. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. It down. does suck. For Taurus it does is suck to down to 17. Getting okay, just killed by everything. I have to pay respects, everyone. Uh... Keep running. It's my. I got 10 wounds on Lolash, 11 wounds on Plazzy, 9 wounds on Nier, 15 wounds on Renard, and 15 wounds, oh. wounds on Fedoris. Yeah, pretty much. You got full wounds on everyone. Yep. If this was Bloodbath, that would be a lot worse. So I go and keep running. I get 1 XP for it. And someone's about to attack you. Well, I just wow. have to do what I can, but... You might be able to take it. Because there are no characters left for the challenge, and I've lost. Wow. Really? Just straight up? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it's set, what it's about. I still seem to have people in my deck. Yeah. Um, what I would recommend right now is there was a group of skeletons just to the north um, east of you. Mm -hmm. I would recommend you decamp, move al only along the shoreline back towards Av Avakis. Right. Leave Go only as far as you have one and then unit of movement left. Recamp so you're a little bit further away, yeah. But make sure you leave enough movement to camp at the end of your turn. Right, I can. Otherwise, the odds of death are very Spend high. four. Okay, camp there then. And camp. Can you camp? Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm just looking at awesome. everyone now. Everyone is still alive at the moment, so... It doesn't look like they've camped on my screen. Ah, oh, there we are. Yeah, they have. Now. Right, let's end the turn and see who dies. Oh, I'm sure that no one will die. I have faith. I'll be very lucky if no one dies. Yeah. Still, I've got to take my turn, I'm afraid. <laughs> um... There's actually some nastiness going on up here. It's night time and I'm next to a bunch of level two things. I'm gonna I'm going to try and pull my group back down towards you. In a hope that maybe they'll draw out any aggressors to them instead, because they're all at full health, so Yeah. But it's gonna take me like a turn to get there, unfortunately. Oh thank you for the help. Oh you're more than welcome. Oh, but don't it has an encounter. Wounds don't okay. always have a chance to heal, and so death oh. can claim its prize. I have lost Lolash, and so Lolash, more souls rip. join the beyond. Lolash, you are a brave soul. Rip in pieces, Lolash. We need some dapper sheep to mourn Lolash's passing. We do. Right, I will uh, continue to move on down. But um, I think I they are not as heavily wounded anymore now, so there's a more less chance of them dying next turn. Yeah, yeah, there'll be significantly uh, less chance of death at this point. I really wish I hadn't followed the tracks now. Yeah, as people said in chat, they didn't say that blue was good, but rather that brown was bad. Really bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, though that wasn't a brown option that they were talking about there's like a, a dark brown option then there's the just the regular this is text option then there's blue which uh -huh. is i'm not even sure i've 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 only ever really picked things based on what i think will uh what you think will happen sense for the encounter yeah, yeah. i think i'll go back to doing that because that didn't work very well thank you very much dead drunk hungry for the continued support nine months in a row let's get a little bit of love in chat for dead drunk hungry please and it looks like one of the groups has decided to attack me. Good. You'll easily be able to All I wanted was leather. <laughs> <laughs> oh. For armor. Oh. That's okay. At least I've still got nine people at the moment. Yeah. And most Thank of them you very make much, Shadow of Havoc. Chunk of damage 
damage. So I'm going to defend Izda in this fight so that uh, that's not going to go through. Now, the reason why I played my cards in this way, why I brought Izda out, is so that Izda would have already started the damage on that last um, enemy because that way Dappling would kill it and have more damage to spill over onto the Unliving Corpse. All right. There we go. Iron and Amber. Eh, not a bad shield, actually. Oh, and I've got another encounter. Yeah, more unliving. Yeah. I'm glad I moved down because I've just had two skeleton attacks in a row. Wow. Like, yep. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you little fluff lizard. <laughs> Was that like a multiple sneeze? Yeah, she was having a little sneezing fit. Decided to split the damage, you fools. My cards are all stupids. Okay, that's a little bit better. You're still gonna get walloped. I'm gonna take a lot of wounds on his dad. That was a poor play by me. Poor play. Happens. Yeah, unfortunately. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's gonna happen, you know, without a lot yeah. of experience at the game, I suppose. I should win. I don't think... Well, I think Izda may be okay. It, uh, it could go either way. I'm not sure on how much health Izda has. No, Izda is now at heavily wounded, so may die on the next turn. Ooh. 